What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for the likes, comments, and new subscribers. What's up? Today, I'm going to be installing an interior ambient lighting kit for my Tesla Model 3 from the folks over at Lighting Bug Tech. Let's get to it. Now, Lighting Bug Tech is your one-stop shop for all your ambient lighting needs. You can buy these pieces separately or as one big kit like I did here. This has the footwell, dashboard, center console, and even backrest lights. And as we all know, the interior of the Model 3 is very bland and boring. So what we're going to do today is we're going to spruce that up a little bit. So to get started, we're going to be running the dashboard LED strip underneath here in the vent. You're going to want to tuck it into the little insert there and use a pry tool like so. This was the most tedious part as you have to make sure that the LED strip is actually in between the two trim pieces. So just take your time and go slow and work your way down. I like to always go back and just recheck my work and apply pressure all the way down the strip. And be careful taking off your 3M tape so that you don't rip the backing. I did that a couple times and kind of had to start over. And once you get to the end, use your trim piece removal tool to tuck the wires around the edges and on the edge of the dashboard here, you're going to want to remove this trim piece. And tuck the wires like so. Bring the wire around the bottom and tuck that end around the edge as well. And run it down along the front. And here I'm just making my way slowly down the front and tucking it in using the trim piece here. Just take your time guys. Everything fits as it's supposed to be and you'll have a super clean install when you're finished. Now we're going to run the wires down the side of the center console here and tuck it underneath this leather trim piece like so super easy guys it goes in very nice tucks very easy and the wires are completely hidden and now we leave the wires back there as we move into the piece here on the center console i'm going to line it up first before i move the tape and insert it in the edges if you feel like you need to apply more pressure go ahead and use the trim piece removal tool and make sure it's really in there guys and then we're going to bring the wires down on the passenger side here and run it along the center console just like the driver's side once we make our way to the back we're going to pop off the cover of the ac vent and then we're going to thread the wires finishing it around the edges of this leather trim piece here as you can see and then bring your wires in through the AC vent, which is where we're going to end up connecting everything at the end. Then we work our way to the bottom to uncover the plugs, and then you're just going to insert the new plugs that are given in the kit. And thread the wire up from the bottom all the way through the AC vent like so. And here is a view of what everything should look like at this point. And all the wires are going to be plugged into this module right here accordingly. So here I am plugging this into the dashboard and center console lights. Now these are literally going to tell you where to plug in each light connector. And here we go guys, this, the dashboard is working amazing. And the center console is working as well, guys. This is going to be so sick. I'm very hyped at this point of the install, so let's get the rest finished. So for the footwell lights, you're going to want to take out the little screws in the front. I think you have two regular plastic screws and then one hex screw. And then it just comes out like so. And once you take this off, you're going to want to unplug your OEM light. I have RPM Tesla lights installed, and then I have to pry out that light. To be able to replace it with the new one that's going to be able to change colors and once you install the new light you're going to want to make sure the power cord is facing outwards like so so on the driver's side it's to the left on the passenger side it'll be to the right 
Now as we're doing the passenger side, I think it had four little clips and then taking light out as well. And as you can see, I have the power cord facing my right side because that's where we're going to string up the power access. And again guys, all the wires have their necessary name on it and where they go like so to make this install super easy for you. And now we're threading the wires back through the AC vent on both sides. Now for the footwell lights, you're going to want to run it down through this liner over the AC vent in the back and underneath the um, metal railing, like so. And then it comes out on the other side. And then once we have that, we're going to want to tuck it underneath this door trim piece here. Everything goes smoothly, guys. Don't worry. And make your way to the front. And once you get to the front, connect the wires and then I use zip ties to tie up my old connector, Tesla connector, and then I just took that away because that will not be used. Once that is settled, just reapply this piece right here and you guys should be good to go to do the passenger side. Now for the back footwell lights, you're going to want to use a zip tie and apply it to the um, wires, this huge strip of wires that they have covered in the back. And again, make sure your connector cord is facing towards the inside. So driver side, this one will be facing the right and passenger side will be facing the left. And again, I use some zip ties to tie up all of the excess cord and tuck it underneath into the seat liner. And as I plugged everything back up, we are good to go. We have rear footwell lights, guys. We are active and ready to party. So let's just do the passenger side and we'll be good to go. And this is what the front footwell lights look like. So now that I know that the lights are working perfectly, I am just finishing up on the back here and applying the rear footwell light. Next up, we're going to have the center console lighting strip. This here is going to be installed in between the silver and your leather here and is super easy and goes in and fits like a glove. Now once you make your way up to the top, you're going to want to spend some extra time on these corners here so that this doesn't end up coming out. I've seen on other kits where the corner specifically starts to come out and then the lighting strip just looks terrible. So take your time, use your pry tool to open up little gaps and you should be good to go. I spent extra time here because I like a super clean install and I don't want this piece coming out on the edges. So I spent a little bit extra time. And then just work your way around the other side. And we're ready for the next step. And once I connected them in the back, just to test it, they are working perfectly and we're good to go.
So once we get to the back here, everything is installed. Now I am applying the splicer. So it's got two cords on the back, which activate the footwell LEDs and the center console LED. And I am applying some 3M tape on the edges here that was in the kit so that this piece does not come up and it's really snug. And the last step is to apply your control module underneath the AC vent area here via 3M tape. And I've tidied up all the wires and I put back on the AC vent cover. Make sure your wires on the bottom are all tucked away neatly and then just snap this trim piece back on. And there we go guys. Look at that. Center console. Lit. Footwells. Dashboard. This thing is insane. This is by far the best kit I have seen on the market as far as the dashboard wires you can't even see the led strip the footwell lighting looks good these lights are really bright the center console light looks amazing and this thing comes with 210 modes guys over 210 modes that you can have the kit is bluetooth compatible so you just download the app on your phone and you're able to fully customize your experience of the inside of your tesla to your needs whatever you like however you feel whatever best describes your mood or just you in general it's really amazing guys you can also control the lights separately so your footwell lights your center console lights your dashboard lights can all be a different color or the same color the possibilities are really endless on however you want to customize the inside of your car um, for me when I drive around it's normally like a nice white um, and then whenever I have my girlfriend in the car or some friends in the car we're straight up party mode lights flashing um, which is really fun and cool and what's even cooler is it has welcome modes so my favorite tv show as a kid was knight rider and i was obsessed with kit look at that the dashboard lights up a red streaming led light just like kit how awesome so what are your thoughts i think this looks sick i want to say thank you to lighting bug tech for sending this over you definitely changed the interior of my tesla model 3 and also made me feel like a kid again with the um light up mode making it you know my car feel like it's kit so thank you so much if you guys like this um let me know in the comments below um also i have a discount code for you in three jazz save yourself 20 bucks on the kit or anything from their website uh go ahead and hit that up and like always be blessed take care and i'll see you on the next one